up my PT peeps and my Walking Dead family. One eye bri back to talk about The Walking Dead Season 8 Episode 6, spoilers and discussion. So obviously spoiler warning because it's spoilers in the name right here. So if you don't want to know, stop watching now. But for those who want to know, want to discuss it, here we go, guys. But first and foremost, I want to say happy Thanksgiving to anyone who celebrates it. So depending on when you're watching this, hopefully you have a good Thanksgiving, you had a good Thanksgiving, and had a good holiday, and hopefully you got some good stuff on Black Friday and shopping deals. But here we go, guys. But first, before we get to the spoilers, if you can, hit that subscribe button. Help us achieve our goal of 100,000 subscribers. We can't do it without you guys. And stay in the know by subscribing, and it'll really help us out, guys. But here we go. So Rick is going to the Scavengers and Jadis for some reason. And we saw that in the trailer, the preview for episode 806, and it was just like, what are you doing? Why are you going back there? And people are trying to justify if it's a good idea or not a good idea, but to me, it's not a good idea because, okay, one, they shot you, they betrayed you, they beat up your girlfriend, they were going to kill you, they were handing you over to Negan, and you fought back and... You know, they had a tiger and Ezekiel and Maggie and Hilltop who came and stopped that plan. But if it wasn't for them, they would be dead or prisoners to Negan because Jadis betrayed them. There's no way around that. And one, why would you be going by yourself to there? And it just doesn't make sense. We'll see how it happens in the episode. But Rick makes his way back to Jadis for some reason. No word on the helicopter if it's real fake or where it belongs to yet. But we'll hopefully find out this season of that. But Rick goes back to Jadis and the Scavengers, and we're gonna see a little more of Jadis than we should. We're gonna see her nothing but an apron on. Yes, so we're gonna see her booty, I guess. There's gonna be some painting, and the word is that there's gonna be some, some scavengers doing some paintings half naked. So that's a little weird. We'll see how it goes down. That's what the spoilers are saying. So I don't know what how that's gonna be on the show. But either way, Rick goes back to the scavengers to set up the same deal that they would have had before, but that deal should have been broken. Why would you go back to them? They betrayed you, the trust is gone. Even if they say yes, which Jada says no, and it doesn't work out that way in this episode by any means, but Rick shows her the Polaroids to say, look, we got the outpost, here's Negan, join us or you're gonna be taken down just like Negan is. So join us or we're gonna take you out as well. Jada says, nope, and locks him in the trailer. And yes, that is Rick in the trailer. He's by himself, he's there without any help. There's no one there to help him, so how's he gonna get out of this? We don't know, so we'll find out in another episode what happens here. Then we go back to the hilltop, Maggie is there, Jesus is there, Gregory is there, Diane is there. It's just a lot of hilltop stuff finally to find out what they're going to do with all these saviors. Now, I know Jesus is getting a lot of flack for bringing them back, and I'm one of the people that don't agree with him bringing all these people back, especially that guy. You need to go, Jared. Nobody goes besides a couple other saviors, not these saviors, saviors at another outpost, weapons cache. We'll talk about that in a second. But Jared lives another day, another frustrating day on The Walking Dead for us. But he's, they're just watching them. They're being kept there. Maggie says that we're going to keep them alive. We're going to use them as a bargaining chip down the road. Diane is there keeping watch. People think she's a spy, but I don't believe it. I don't buy into that at all. Gregory, there's supposed to be a funny moment with Gregory where Maggie puts him in a pen and he cries like a baby. It's supposed to be pretty funny, but... Gregor needs to go as well. So even though Xander Berkeley does a good job with Gregory, the character, I think he needs to go like yesterday, but not in this episode. And we have Carl Grimes in this episode. We have a couple of different people who haven't seen much of this season, but Carl Grimes is there. And the rumors, the stuff, we don't have any, we have some new information about it, but I'm waiting to find out about the mid-season stuff with Carl, but we just don't know yet. But he's in episode 806, Alive and Well, and he's going to help Sadiq. He meets Sadiq personally this time. In the sneak peek, he's walking through the woods and is really going to look for Sadiq for some reason. He comes across a walker going after the bag. Sadiq comes behind the walker and stabs the walker in the head with a knife, kills the walker. Sadiq and Carl have an exchange and they talk in the sneak peek that we saw. So Carl brings Sadiq back to Alexandria. He asked him the three questions. He thinks he's a good candidate for it, but we all knew Sadiq was coming back to Alexandria based on the comics. Sadiq is still alive today. He's kind of an important character, especially one reason with Rosita that we just found out. And we'll see if Sadiq is connecting with Oceanside or what happens with this character. I'm kind of interested to see what the comic and show connection. It gets a little crazy with Carl in the trailer. We saw Carl being attacked by walkers and lands on a, a bear or a boar or something, some gigantic animal there that the walkers were eating. 
I guess it's before he meets Sadiq or after, but Sadiq probably helps him take care of the walkers because Carl's in a precarious situation but makes it out alive. Don't worry, guys. He's not going anywhere for this episode at least. So we'll see Carl take care of some walkers with the help of Sadiq. And then we go back to the kingdom where we see Carol and Ezekiel and Jerry. And Ezekiel is supposed to meet up with Rick, but he locks himself in the theater. Jerry looking regal. And I like that we're seeing the hilltop and the kingdom and Rick and Alexandria jumps around a little bit. But Ezekiel is a broken person. He's supposed to go help Rick and he barricades himself in the theater and he doesn't come out. Now, since Rick won't help Daryl, Daryl recruits Tara to help him attack the saviors. And they go and they come up with a plan to go after something at the sanctuary. Not sure what the plan is exactly, but they are working together to go after the saviors. Who's also working together is Rosita and Michonne, as we saw in the trailer. And they're Rosita and Michonne been Alexandria since the start of this fight. And they want to go see the sanctuary to see the walkers, see how everything's doing, see what's going on. They don't know what's going on, so they want to see for themselves, but they never make it to the sanctuary. They find an outpost or a weapons cache or a smaller little place that is controlled by the saviors, and the saviors want to go into the sanctuary to help them to you know, clear a path for the saviors to leave, but they are stopped by Michonne and Rosita and Daryl and Tara, and they actually find some explosives. They find more explosives, not these. These are the ones from the Humvee, but they find some more weapons. I don't know if they find some RPGs or what, but we'll see what goes down. But then they start to the plan. This plan went to crap. I have to talk about it a little bit. I like the idea of them fighting personally, but I didn't like how the fight was actually done. What did you think of it, guys? We'll see how it goes down in episode 806. But Rick goes back to Jadis. We see more Jadis than we probably want to. Nothing but an apron on. We'll see how it goes down. But either way, Rick going back to Jadis, to my eyes, is stupid. I would have rather went to Oceanside. When I went to Oceanside and not Jadis, that was dumb. Rick's there by himself. We thought of it was going to be him or Eugene or somebody in this picture, but it's Rick going back. He gets captured. He's butt naked. Well, it looks like he's got some underwear on there. He might be butt naked. We'll see. It's hot in that trailer. So they also mark the trailer with an A. Yes, the A comes back around. It's a callback season. So what are we going to do? We're going to do the A thing again. A for Alexandria, A at Terminus, A for Effort. So we'll see how it goes down, what happens here in episode 806. I'm excited for it, but I'm also frustrated that they're going back to the scavengers. And if you're on Instagram or Twitter, I am at the PT channel. Give us a follow. We post up there all the time. On Facebook, the Walking Dead community Facebook page and a group. I'm on Facebook as well. Just my name. And if you can, guys, check out my book series, Fight for Us, books one, two, three, and four, Amazon Kindle, Barnes & Noble, all that good stuff. And thank you for watching.